my pleasure to introduce Signore Villarese. Thank you. I'm talking to you from Lucca, Lucca in Tuscany, and we are at the mint of Lucca, the most ancient mint in Tuscany and most probably among the most ancient in Italy. Uh, these are Etruscans. We were eating more or less the same way, reclined and by groups of three or six or nine. So that will make a U-shaped table with a little table in the middle and the food was already cut and brought on that table and then we'll go by hand. In the ancient times, the only people who were eating meat were priests. Because besides the fact that they were symbolically offering to some god, then someone had to eat them. And the Etruscans were the most known priests, diviners. Uh, they were divining the future through the entrails of the animals, to the point that even the Romans were using Etruscan priests. It's a duck. The recipe is of the 1100. Uh, it is done sweet and sour sauce, so there is raisins and other things. This is the guardian of the mint. Uh, it's uh, on Pietra Serena. It's a Celtic god with three heads. You see, it has three nose, one, two, and three. Three-headed god, so he can see from any side of the mint. The cuisine of the taverns in Toscana, so La Cucina Toscana, had very ancient origins, but is mainly a very poor cuisine. After Christ, all the wealthy people always ate the same thing, but probably the effect of the Roman Empire, of the very big kingdoms and so on. So they all ate the same thing. This is full of moth, but this is Penicillin. This is an antibiotic. It's good. It's very light. Just because it's crummy, so there must be air inside. And it smells very good. We have Mr. Mayor, Gian Piero Volpi, who is a specialist in making polenta. Polenta is one of the particular dishes made in your town. È una specialità di qua, di Cobere, signor sì, Sita. Esatto, una specialità di questa nostra zona. Sì, certo. The use of the white beans, the cannellini beans, is uh, rather recent, 1600. But the Etruscans were using le fagiole, which were wider and flatter beans, white. They were the only of that kind. Tools and table manners during the centuries. These are Etruscans that are collecting the olives by kicking them down, which is not a very bad idea, but now this is what they were doing at the time. The olive that you are tasting comes from Apulia, which is the region that produces over 50% of the Italian production of olive oil. Now, 